EverWeb has some really handy features to help improve your workflow by reducing the time and effort it takes for moving and resizing objects on your page. These features also preserve your existing page layout, so you don't need to worry about having to re-edit your page after moving objects around on it. When moving an object that is partly obscured by other objects, the selected object can get deselected when you try to move it. To overcome this problem, use the following shortcut key example. Here, I want to move the circle shape that lies underneath the squares, but I don't want to affect the squares whilst doing this. I can select the circle shape in one of two different ways, either by clicking on the black colour of the circle itself, if that's possible, or by right-clicking or secondary-clicking on part of one of the squares that covers the circle. If I use the right-click option, a submenu then appears. Go down to the Pick Layer option, and in this example, select Oval 1. The circle shape is now selected. You may find that you don't see selection handles around the circle, but that's OK. The circle has in fact been selected. Now, hold down the Command plus Option keys. Click and drag the selected object from underneath the squares, as you can see in the example. Here, the correct objects get moved, that's the circle, and the squares remain unaffected. In the next example, I want to move all the objects beneath the selected object down the page, so I can insert a video clip in the space between it. In this example, I'm going to use the Algonquin theme template, and I want to insert EverWeb's own video widget between the first and second sections of the page. To begin, I hold down the Command and Shift keys. Next, I click and drag the title in the second section of the page, in this case, This Is My Journey, down the page. You'll notice a gap opens up, with all the objects below the selected object having moved down in sync. When I have finished the move, I just release the Command and Shift keys. To finish my page, all I need to do now is go to the Widgets tab and select one of the video widgets, in this case YouTube, and I'm going to drag and drop it in place onto my page and I'm finished.